My name is Nasir Ahmed. I'm originally from Bangalore, India. And I came to the United States in 1961 to work on my master's degree. I had a bachelor's from India at the University of New Mexico. When I was finishing my PhD, I came up with this discrete cosine transform. I had no idea that it would become a major contribution. In those days, the digital technology was just starting. Uh, to run a, a program, it was a big challenge. It's not like right now. You, the student had to go and put all of the program in computer cards. And then you submitted that program to the big IBM computer at the university. In that environment is when this technology was proposed in 1974. And this little algorithm that we published became the most efficient way of taking an image or a video, processing it in a way that it could be compressed and transmitted to any place that you want. There were other people who published, but it turned out that the discrete cosine transform survived to be the most widely used and became a standard. And so that, that, that was a key contribution of, uh, of mine. I decided to write a proposal to the National Science Foundation to ask for some money to work on this idea. Uh, and I thought it would get accepted because it was a very novel idea. But to my surprise, the reviewers said that the idea was too simple. And so they rejected the proposal. And so I told Kelita that uh, I have this intuition that this thing is the way to do it, but can we afford to take the summer three months without any salary? She said, you know, we'll, we'll manage somehow. So I kept working on it. I had a friend of mine in the uh, uh, University of Southern California. Uh, when I sent him the results that I got, he told me, publish these results right away as a short paper in the computer transactions. From then on, everyone started referring to that short article called The Discrete Cosine Transform by Nasir Ahmed, T. Natarajan, and K.R. Rao. I was the leading author. The prestige was to publish, not money and those kind of things. That's the way it used to be in 1974. You know, we were all trained to be pure people who were academic people who believed in publishing, and the industry was considered to be kind of separate. It would be nice if, but uh, if people kind of see who developed it. But the reality is uh, life doesn't work like that. To be very honest, I couldn't predict how fast the technology would move. And just amazed of how all of these technologies of FaceTime and Zoom, and they've come into place and... But you don't like Zoom. Oh, because, you know, <laughs> I, I, it's not I don't like it, I'm uncomfortable. That's <laughs> to me, just the fact that I see it's being used so widely, 
it makes me feel very happy. And I was telling my wife, it's the most wonderful gift I got from, from life to, to be recognized by ordinary people who can use it. And I have to emphasize that this wonderful woman that I have next to me from Monteros to Kuman helped me all through my career. She was always next to me. And our son, who loves his mother too. Yeah. So proud of you. See, I'm going to kiss you in front of everybody. <laughs> Él vino con esa sonrisa tan hermosa, con esos dientes de perla, y lo miré yo, él me miró a mí. I'm Nasser, from India. Esther, from Argentina. It's computer programming. Anything good? It's about Doring's development of his A-machine, and how improving the uncomputability of the unshidings problem by such a machine he showed the fundamental limitations of mechanical computation. I have no idea what you are talking about. But I know I love hearing you talk. Y bueno, ahí empezó. Me, me invitó a tomar café. She used to tolerate my coming late from the office and waiting for me to eat with our son and, and her. Hi. Hi. What time does your watch say? Um, 9.53. Hmm, 9.53. That's good. I was worried maybe all the clocks in the house were fast. I didn't want to accuse you of being three hours and 53 minutes late for no reason. Okay, yes, I... One night. I asked you for one night to come home at six to have dinner with your son. He was so excited for you to eat the pizza he made you. I wanted to make it home. What could you be doing in that office that is so much more important than us? I'm so close to something huge, yes. No one has created an efficient algorithm to compute the Karunan law of transform. So I had the idea to approach the problem by studying a cosine transform. I and stopped. then. If I am going to forgive you, then I need to understand why what you are doing matters so much to you. Mi hijo nunca puede decir mi mamá me separó de mi padre porque yo siempre dejaba todo. Sí. Era bueno la carrera para mí era más importante mi hijo en ese momento y la felicidad de él. Él es un genio y a veces es muy difícil vivir con un genio. When your mother wants a picture of Mike, what do we do? We mail it to her? Right. We mail it to Argentina. She gets it a few weeks later. What if instead of waiting for the mail, she could see the photo on a computer almost instantly? What do you mean? The military has created a network of computers around the world. They're all connected. As soon common people will have them. And if my team can optimize a form of data compression, they'll be able to share images. So, you put a picture on the computer and my mother across the world sees the same picture? Yes, and imagine if one day it wasn't just a picture. Imagine it was a movie. Imagine you could talk to someone on a screen, like a phone call, but with video. No hay persona en el mundo a quien admire más que a mi marido. Esa es la pura verdad. Tengo mucha suerte en mi vida, ¿sí? Le llevó casi 50 años para ser reconocido. Lo que él aprecia más no es el reconocimiento académico. Todo el mundo sabía quién era él. Pocos, pero sabían. Pero que la gente, que los adolescentes, que mi hijo mismo, me dice, yo nunca he pensado en el impacto que mi papá tuvo. Para mí eso es una joya. Es lo más hermoso que, que se le haya reconocido a él. Deborah Jackson 
the best episode of any show I've ever seen. What you do, what you did by teaching the world about Nasir Ahmed is pure genius. Thank you, Dan Fogelman. My golly, amazing. Carla Hernandez, give him a Nobel Peace Prize for his long lasting scientific contribution to making the world connected beyond boundaries. Nasir Ahmed, Nobel Prize. To the brilliant Nasir Ahmed, he is responsible for inventing data compression transformation. It is because of him that we can send photos and videos to stay connected with loved ones, no matter the distance. Thank you, it says, this is us, this is us for oh. perfectly sharing this story. Oh, this is beautiful. And Dan Fogelman is saying that I am told that Nasir Ahmed is trending, which may be one of my favorite things that has happened in five years of doing this. How nice of him. I am forever grateful to Nasir Ahmed for his contribution, which allows me to video chat with my daughter in Istanbul, who I haven't seen since Thanksgiving of 2019. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Ahmed, for those sacrifices. I could not have gotten through the past year without the very technology you worked so hard to discover. Your wonderful comments. Thank you so much. Muchísimas gracias.